Welcome everyone to this Virgo full moon happening on March 18th, 2022. Ooh, we are smack dab in the middle of full moon and uh, solstice. So thinking of full moon energy is illuminating our path is shining a light on what's working, what's not working. It's celebrating how far we've come, right? What, we, what we've accomplished, what we've created, maybe what we've moved through, where we've grown. And it's also about releasing what no longer serves us. So we got the release, letting go of what no longer serves us as we do in these full moon ceremonies. We use the three C's, which is Clarity, clarity on what I'm celebrating, clarity on what I created in the world, clarity on how I've grown, clearing, clearing what no longer serves me. What do I get to let go of? What do I get to shed? What do I get to allow to return back into the earth, into nutrients, into the soil as we practice our sacred tree? And then committed action. When I am aligned, when I am clear on where I get to go, I have cleared out what no longer serves me. And I'm not just doing for doing sake, but I'm stepping into committed action that is aligned with what I want in the world. Then what are the, what do I get to take? It's clear. I'm not just doing, do, do, doing all over myself, right? I'm doing with uh, specificity, with clarity, with commitment, with uh, energy that is aligned with what I am calling in. And the solstice is rebirth. It's my favorite. Like, that's why I'm wearing my sparkles today. It is spring is sprung, the budding and blossoming of new ideas, of new ways of being, of we've created space by releasing what no longer serves us. When we think of the tree, yes, the equinox, when we think of the tree, we're letting go of the, a tree doesn't hold on to the leaves, right? He's like, oh, they're brown, but I'm going to hold on to them. No, let them go, right? Let's it go back into the earth because that's how seasons are. It creates space for what's next, for the new buds, the new blossoms to come, the new growth, right? The growth as the tree grows, our sacred tree. I'll plop in that video again of the sacred tree. Uh, so we are in this magical period of release and renewal, of letting go of what no longer serves us, of completing the season of winter, stepping into rebirth, budding, blossoming, possibility, popping of new ideas, of vibrancy, of color, of energy, of growth. Where do I get to grow in this new season? Where do I get to go? Where have I been restricting myself? Where have I been in hibernation? It's winter. We were slowing down. That is the season of slowing down, of resting, of allowing the growth, the learnings to seep into the soil and become the nutrients that fortifies our tree, our buds, our possibilities. Pew, 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 pew. So, how do, and tonight, in, in specific, when we're recording this video, it's actually, I'm going to pull up what it's called. Hopefully, I screen grabbed it. Lord knows. Um, we're right in the middle between Venus and Mars, right? We're in the cosmic kiss, as they say. Yeah, they're kissing each other. Mm, I'm into that. <laughs> cosmic kiss tonight in. Uh, two hours, there will be a cosmic kiss between Venus, the planet of love and money and Mars, the planet of our desires, passion and action. Wow. This togetherness will be magical developments in our love life. Profound connections will flourish. Blocks around love will be removed. Feelings will be strengthened. Love, passion, and desire will be awakened. Lovers will crave physical contact and the expression of affection. Someone who already liked you will fall deeply in love. 
you know, the surfer's coming over tonight. Just saying. Okay. So, <laughs> and yes, meow, meow. And uh, not only that, but it's like mercury retrograde. X's are coming out of the woodwork. You know, that normally, ha oh, I see Tamika, like, yes, like out of the woodwork. It is not in the Mercury retrograde. They are ahead of schedule right now. So uh, <laughs> just let you know. And what we spoke about this morning in Daily Kickstart was, are we learning the lesson? Have I learned, have I learned the lesson from those, right? Like going, am I going back, stirring that pot again? No, thank you. I've learned that lesson and moving on. And with blessings, blessings to you. No, thank you. All right. What are the five things you need to know about this Virgo full moon? Number one, planning, planning. This is time to get things done. Unfortunately, fear will be what's pushing us. So it, so we just got to check in what's our true motivation behind our doing this. So right now it's like plant the seeds, right? Then the spring we're planting seeds, but it's also our tax season. It's wrapping up the winter season, the things that didn't get complete. So there is like getting things done, especially around finances right now. So there, that's the masculine side of it is getting it done, checking it off the list, it, death to that project right so it's done it's complete it is put to bed um and the kind of um uh fear that may arise in dealing with finances what does money bring up in us what does it activate like i have a team of people to help me with my taxes and I put it off every year. I usually get an extension every year, right? So where do we get to step into it? I started futzing around with my thing, you know, like I'm getting, getting this red sheet together. Like, so this is the, this is the sign. If you were looking for a sign, there ain't a signier sign than this. This is the sign. Okay. Okay. Getting things done, taxes, finances, um, and the opposite of this is the feminine side, which is not forcing the, not forcing it, not overextending, no, not overexerting, being in flow and trust. So if you need an extension, get an extension. You know what I mean? Don't stress yourself out, get the extension and turn it in on time anyway, right? Don't stress yourself out, do the be in flow, allow it, and knowing that this is this is time. Maybe are we are we uh, are we avoiding, or is it something that just gets to have more time and space? So, am I am I masculine? Am I am, am I feminine? Do I get to flow and trust? Um, just noticing if fear is that what's pushing me at this time. Number two, number two at this Virgo full moon releasing expectation okay to that where am i expecting things oh i still see it today where am i expecting to, where am i expecting uh my partner to know what i need where am i in the fairy tale of expecting prince charming to sweep me off my feet that i need my feet rubbed <laughs> that i need my I, I need a certain kind of touch or a certain kind of showing up and expecting someone to just know it versus communicating my wants, needs, and desires. W releasing expectation. Expectation is the thief of joy. Expectation is the thief of joy. Where do I have expectation that is robbing my joy? It's good. So opening up, listening to my intuition, tuning in, which we know is closing our eyes, turning inward, meditating, whatever that is for you, where you turn off the logical mind and tune into your intuition, that this is the reminder, ding, ding, reminder, uh, to turn inward, 
what, where do I have expectations? Where do I get to turn into my intuition, opening up to perception, opening up to uh, divine guidance, uh, not putting that on other people, but knowing everything is inside of me. The opportunity when it's asking us to do in this Virgo full moon is focus on the big picture, not on the details, widen out, widen your scope out. Right. When I widen my scope out, I'm not nitpicking the little things, the little things that seemingly go wrong. Maybe what that is, is perfection unfolding. It just doesn't look like what I thought it would look like. It looks different. And, and who am I in this earthly body to know all the things? We know that 95% of everything is happening beyond our perception, beyond our knowing, beyond the physical. And when I widen out to the big picture, listen, if it comes through me and it's called to me, like being on the Kelly Clarkson show, it's meant for me. Because is anybody else here having that vision at this moment? Maybe, but most likely not, right? What, what your vision that's happening with you right here, right now is yours and meant for you. It's uniquely yours. And you, the fact you're here, I don't know if you saw that post I put the other day, is like a one in trillion chance that you're even here in this physical body at this time. So own it, own it. Hey, I'm special. I'm fabulous. I'm meant to be here with these talents, with this information at this time. So widen out to the big picture. That's what it's saying. All right. That was number two. Number three. Connect with your wild feminine. We're going to have a little practice on that tonight in our full moon goddess church. Uh, that is sounding out, releasing, leaning into the flow, feeling our bodies, appreciating beauty. I'm just picking flowers wherever I go. I go on walks with Leo. I have flowers, all the smells of spring blossoming, that femininity birthing out into the world, connecting to your roots as the divine feminine, feeling your feet on the earth. No judgment in expression of your unique expression as the wild divine feminine. As you let it go, releasing that, feel the release in your shoulders, rolling your hips, breathe that in and let it out. This is when we get to howl at the moon, vocalizing in our culture. We're so mm, turned inward, small, hunched, quiet, appropriate being good girls, following the rules, the made up rules, right? Those invisible rules. We talked about invisible rules. What are the invisible rules I'm following, right? I spoke into this this week. I, I went to Ojai on Sunday to see my friend. She had her baby and I, I got to welcome the baby, say hello to the baby coming into the earth plane. And my, I had a lot of like, we're, we're, oh, it's Monday. I got to work. I got to like, I don't work at an office. I haven't in years, but I have this invisible rule that come Monday, I got to work. I got to be on some sort of schedule. I, I make up my own schedule. Are you kidding me? I can do it from any, well, clearly I couldn't do it from anywhere on Monday because the signal was awful, but in theory, right? I can do that from anywhere. I can be anywhere. So where, what are the invisible rules that you are, that are binding you in your life, that are creating expectations that nobody has put on us except ourselves? And maybe we had old expectations, old invisible rules that we were following that served us for a period of time. So in this full moon is an opportunity to let those go. So as I'm spewing my juice right now, I invite you to think of what are some of the invisible rules that I follow that 
I, I have to be on time that I have to dress a certain way. That's another thing. I don't even know how to draw. I don't even know how to put on clothes anymore. Like if it ain't stretchy pants, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> right. Like, so what are the invisible rules? I need to be home at a certain time. I need to wake up at a certain time. I need to show up for a part of my life in a certain way. I have to always be in charge of X, Y, and Z, whatever that is. So where do I have invisible rules that um, I get to unlock? I get to release. I get to let go of, let my wild feminine flow dance. This morning, instead of getting to work right away, I spent two hours preparing for this full moon ceremony by doing my own thing. I, I, I set an altar. I moved my body. I lit candles. I did all the things. I took a goddess soak. Yes. 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what, what is that for you? How do you get to connect to your wild feminine? And maybe you don't know, maybe it's just time to try some things. All right. I got two more and then I'm going to open us up for questions, thoughts, uh, awarenesses, things that landed and resonated. Um, also in this wild feminine, this is still number three, is our anger release. And this is what we do in the wild woman three-day challenge. Anger is suppressed radiance. Anger is suppressed radiance in the divine feminine. Again, good girls don't get angry. Good girls don't scream and shout. Good girls don't have anger that maybe scares other people. Maybe it scares ourselves. But that anger stuck in the body clogs up our radiance. And that's really what the divine feminine is meant to do. That is what heals the planet. That is what heals us all is our radiance. Just our beingness alone creates comfort. It creates freedom. It creates creativity and beauty. So ah, where do I have anger in my body? Just checking in. And there are places I'm holding it where I'm stuck. Ah, seeing where I may have dis-ease in my body, where I am crunched up, where I am constricted and unlocking it, allowing it to move free, to release, to let go. Number th four, 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 four. Call for peace in self. What am I ready to forgive myself for? What am I ready to get, forgive myself for? And what is the lesson being revealed? What am I? ready to forgive myself for. And this is something in our full moon ceremony that you may want to take to the clearing section. Is there something you've been hanging on to maybe for years, even decades that we get to forgive ourselves for, that you get to release. And then what lesson is being revealed? What is being revealed? When I'm in flow, it all works out. It all works out in my favor. The universe is conspiring in my favor. I trust myself. I trust the universe. And last but not least, and this is so hilarious because you know what I talked about earlier about it being Mercury retrograde, but not, you know, it's not Mercury retrograde. Past relationships come back. Past relationships come back to be resolved, to be completed. So maybe what is that lesson? What is that learning from that relationship? You're either learning or you're teaching, either one or the other. And I used to always think I was learning from other everybody, but now I, I also get that I have taught people and I teach people how to treat me also. So what am I teaching others? What have I, what do I get to own as my divineness of my gifts 
that I've imparted on people, whether through ease and flow and love or not, or something else, <laughs> right? Yeah, that. All right, so that is your full moon Virgo, Virgo full moon forecast, the five things you need to know about this Virgo full moon. And for those who are watching this video, follow us, share this, join us in tribe. And join us on the Wild Woman three-day challenge. With that, we're complete.